Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and I get a lot of questions about whether or not you can laser cut vinyl. Let's talk about it. The short answer to this question is that it depends. It depends on the chemical makeup of the actual material that you are machining. There are laser safe vinyl materials but let's talk a little bit about the chemicals. So two of the biggest chemicals you want to avoid are polyvinyl chloride or PVC and hydrogen chloride. That's because they can not only cause harm to your health because of the fumes that it puts off, but also can cause damage to your machinery. That's why when people ask, you know, can you machine PVC? Can you machine this? The answer is no don't do it it's going to harm both you and your laser to do so now the biggest thing that i've seen with regards to vinyl is a lot of people assume that all vinyl cannot be machined because some vinyls contain pvc now there are laser safe vinyls it just depends on the kind you're trying to use but let's name a few things that you absolutely should not do you should not laser cut any kind of vinyl record. It's not going to be laser safe. I don't know why people do this. Uh, people claim that they have the right fume extraction. To me, it's not worth the risk. So I don't recommend machining anything like a vinyl record or normal vinyl sticker material or things like car wraps that contain PVC. There's a lot of vinyls that I just wouldn't touch at all. Now you will see other people on the internet that will do it. I don't know, it's the internet. People are always doing things that other people don't agree with, and I just don't recommend doing it. The best thing that you can do when it comes to a material you're not sure about is talk to your laser manufacturer, see if they will test it for you. I know with Epilogue, if you have a material that you haven't used before, you can send them a sample. They will look into it for you and tell you if it is laser safe or not. And that is honestly the best thing to do. When it comes to the material makeup, one of the things you should look for is the material safety data sheet or the MSDS. Every material is supposed to have one of these that shows you the chemical makeup, how to properly take care of yourself if something was in it that you need to be aware of. This is usually common with things like chemicals or liquids or adhesives or things like that, but most vinyls should also have an MSDS. It's not always an easy thing to find. Sometimes you have to do a lot of digging. Often, if you're not sure and you can't find it, you can call the manufacturer of the material, ask for the MSDS for that material, and they should provide it to you. And that should answer a lot of your questions. But again, if you're not sure, send it to your laser manufacturer and ask them for help. In this video, I'm going to cover two vinyls that are laser safe. So let's hop over to the computer. I'll show you how to tell that they are laser safe. And I will also show you the ones that I have in real life. So let's go over to the computer and I will show you what they are. The first vinyl that I want to talk about is more of a sticker vinyl. So the one and only one that I have ever found that claims and is shown to be laser safe is one from Eco-Friendly Crafts. So here on their website, if you go to shop and then vinyl, once you click on that, you'll see a bunch that say PVC uh, self-adhesive vinyls. If you click on one of those and you go into the product information, scrolling down here, you will see that at the bottom it says it is laser safe as well. So the big thing here is if you wanna verify, ask them for the MSDS, ask them to provide it, and then send a sample off to your laser manufacturer if you are not sure. This is one of the ones where you'll be able to create stickers, you'll be able to create uh, you know, anything from this type of vinyl that you typically would do on say a Cricut or a Silhouette or something like that. Now there are reasons why I would use a laser and I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but I wanted to show you that this one is a laser safe material. You'll also see that it is green certified, uh, PVC free, no chlorine in it. And that is a large part of what makes this laser safe. The second one is the Caesar brand 
of heat transfer vinyl. So heat transfer vinyl is what you're going to be using for fabrics. So things like hoodies, t-shirts, whatever that you can use with the heat press. To find out which ones are laser safe, if you go to materials, then you go to heat transfer vinyl. They have some other ones here as well. You'll have to dig to find all of the ones that are laser safe. But if you go to EasyWeed, because I know that one is laser safe, if you scroll down just a little bit, it has a nice clear icon that tells you laser friendly, which means that you can use this with your laser cutters. These are two of the brands that I have used before. These are ones that I've worked with pretty closely, at least with Caesar as well. And they do make a good product. I haven't found a ton of other options. I think there's a couple more out there but these are the two main ones that I use. I will leave links in the description below to both of these sites so you can check them out for yourself, but let me show you some of the actual materials that I have on hand. First up, I wanna talk about the eco-friendly product that has the sticker style material. So these are just a few of the samples. I have like the whole sample set. You get the 12 by 12 sheet and it has just regular adhesive on the back. So you can laser machine these as well. It comes in a lot of different colors, it just depends on what you want to do. For the Caesar stuff, I have a lot more options. So there's a lot of colors, very vibrant, glittery, all that kind of stuff. So the heat transfer vinyl has a lot of options. These are great for t-shirts, uh, sweatshirts, whatever, apparel wise, as long as you have a heat press as well or an iron or something like that that you can use. This isn't a paid promotion video or anything like that. These are just two that I've used in the past and I've gotten so many questions about vinyl and people immediately saying, no, you cannot machine vinyl, that there's just a lot of misinformation in my mind that people are paying attention to. I'm not gonna say I have all of the answers to all of this stuff, but things like vinyl records, avoid. Things like regular sticker material, avoid. You just need to make sure that you are doing your research. So many people are just relying on other people's information and not doing their own homework. I've seen so many people just taking other people's words for things and you should not do that, not even mine. You should do your own homework, figure it out for yourself, look at the MSDS, consult your laser manufacturer, and then you can machine it if it is deemed that it is laser safe and only then. Just because somebody with you know, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 followers says you can do this, doesn't mean you can do it. Just a thought. Think for yourself a little bit. Now I will do a little bit of machining of these two, but first up, again, if you have not seen, I have a laser community called lasersmadesimple.com slash community. It will be linked in the description below. It is a free community where I share laser tips. You can ask questions about troubleshooting problems that you're having and just get to know other laser owners. I also have a membership that is a paid membership. It is called lasersmadesimple.com slash membership. It is a monthly thing where I do group lives. I will get on a Zoom call every month. We'll go through, talk about different topics. You have my undivided attention for that entire time to ask whatever questions you have related to laser and UV machining. So I will leave that in the description below as well. This all helps to fund my channel and help me create more content. Now, again, no pressure. If you're interested, it's there. If you're not, totally cool. Before I go and machine some of this vinyl, I want to tell you why I would use a laser cutter instead of a thing like Silhouette or the Caesar Romeo uh, or a Cricut, whatever it might be. And that is the time to weed. So I have used a Silhouette in the past. I have done stickers in the past. I have done super intricate designs and they took hours to weed out all the crap I didn't need. And that's one of the biggest things. So a laser can kiss cut the material so you can still have the weed ability if it's something fairly large and the weeding's not a big deal. If it's something super small and intricate, doing the weeding is a real pain. Laser engraving the material so it completely gets rid of that piece of the vinyl, 
makes it so much easier to work with and drastically reduces the time. So what I'm gonna do is use a design that is super intricate. I'm gonna do it really small. I'm not going to like press it onto a shirt right now or anything, but I will do one with a heat transfer vinyl and I will do one with the sticker style vinyl and show you both of those at the end. I'll use the same design so it's the exact same thing. I am going to be using my Epilogue Fusion Edge for this because I already have the settings that I figured out for vinyl on there. Uh, but let's jump into that and I will show you what I'm gonna make and then I'll just show you the machining real quick of those vinyls and we'll talk about it a little bit. All right, here are the two different vinyls machine. This one is the holographic one. So you can see the different chain that it has when you wiggle it. So this one is the heat transfer vinyl. What you would do is you will put this onto a shirt, heat press onto the top, and then you would peel off this clear layer. But you can see that the level of detail in this would be pretty hard to achieve if you're just doing a vinyl cutter at this size. Now this one is the regular style sticker vinyl. There are going to be a lot of tricks to using this kind. You're gonna to have to find the right type of transfer tape. Sometimes the low tack or medium tack won't work very well just because of, I think it's with the machining, it kind of creates a bevel in spaces if you don't figure out your settings well. So you're definitely going to have to do a lot of testing with this, figure out your material settings, uh, even I didn't get it right on this one. You can see a little bit of black that really shouldn't be there. But the idea is you would add transfer tape to the top of this. You would then peel off this adhesive part and then you would apply it to wh whatever surface you want and then peel off the transfer tape to leave the sticker. So a lot of different ways you can do these. But these two are just some examples of how you can use the vinyl at a really small size in order to get a cool design that you may not be able to achieve with one of the vinyl cutters. Overall, it is going to take a lot of practice and testing to get the right settings to work with your machine and the different types of laser safe vinyl uh, to achieve what you wanna do. So I do find that the heat transfer vinyl is a lot easier to work with than like the sticker style vinyl. And a lot of that's just repetitive testing and figuring it out. I've done a little bit, not enough uh, to figure it out fully, and I've had success with some colors and some I didn't, so it's just going to require a lot of practice. So the answer to the question, can you laser cut or laser engrave vinyl? Again, it depends. It depends on the material makeup, the MSDS, all the other stuff, the chemicals in it. But there are a few types that you definitely can. You can definitely work with them. The heat transfer vinyl is a really good one. So depending on the project, it may be something of interest especially if you're trying to achieve really small details as it can save you a lot of time in the weeding process. I do know a friend of mine has used a laser to do it versus a cutter. And with a laser, it took him maybe five to 10 minutes to get a design on heat transfer vinyl that he could use on the heat press. And when he tried to do the same thing with a cutter, like a Romeo or a Cricut or a Silhouette, the cutting was quick but it took him like one to two hours to weed all the pieces that he didn't need. So it's definitely a huge time saver if you can figure it out, but 
uh, you know, just some information for you. I know that there's been a lot of questions about it, so I thought I would do my best to answer. Again, if you're interested in my community, check out the links in the description below. Uh, I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it's been helpful. If it has, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. If you have ideas for other videos, put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer those and create videos around them. Be sure to check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment, where I share progress along the way. I wanna thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.